good stuff. The self-titled album from Wallace Bird was released on March 9th, and if you'd like to see Wallace live, she will start tour on March 7th in Wexford, and then she visits Cork, Dublin, Limerick, and Galway. Full details, wallacebird.com. Love that. Now, St. Patrick's Day is a very important date in the calendar of the Irish Kennel Club because it marks our annual dog show, which began in 1922 and featured none other than Michael Collins. Since then, the show has grown increasingly popular with approximately 1,500 dogs competing at the event. We're going to be meeting a few stars of the show shortly, but here to tell us more about it is President of the Irish Kennel Club, Sean Delmar. Good evening, Sean. Good evening, Ryan. Tell me a little bit about this trophy I see before me. Well, the first time the Breed Club, representing Kerry Blues at the time, broke away from the Kennels of UK and held their own show in Summerhill in Dublin. And that's 1920, and Michael Collins was one of the exhibitors at that show, along with the Vice Regal's representative from the Phoenix Park, who in theory was supposed to be chasing him and catching him because he was on the run. But they both actually competed with their Kerry Blues at the same show. Okay. And that was so successful that uh, they broke away entirely from the Kennel Club, formed their own Kennel Club in 1922, the same year as the state. The and Michael the Collins was one of the main driving forces in that. Okay, great. The name of his job is an interesting one, was yeah. called Convict 224. And that actually was the number that De Valera had when he was incarcerated in Manchester pr uh, Prison. So perhaps that was before they had the falling out. Well, what you would have thought, the thought of Michael Collins shouting after his dog, Convict 224, is a kind of sight in itself. What yeah. other dog, he had Kerry Blues. Is that he his, had, what yeah. What his other dogs called? Uh, some of the names that were typical of what was going on at the time, like one of them was called Trotsky, one was called Markovich, so Dawn of Freedom. These are the names of the dogs. They all bore testimony to what was happening in Ireland at the time. It's quite extravagant. I mean, it's a very important part of our heritage. Absolutely. Shall we meet some of the stars of the show? Yes, please. Okay, Sean, let's go meet some of the stars of the show that we're talking about uh, tonight. Let's wait. Okay. So first up, then, we're going to meet Homer with his owner, Nick White from Wicklow. In you come. Let's have a look at you. Homer is, of course, uh, an Irish Glen of Amal Terrier. Ah, uh, look at them. Talk to me. This breed almost became extinct a few years ago, but uh, due to the work of dedicated people has really come on. And Homer is very famous in that he appeared on a stamp to celebrate Ireland, the Irish Candle of hosting the European Winners Dog Show. And he's exhibited and won Best of Breed at Crooks and also in America and has been on television. So he practically has an equity card in his pocket. <laughs> hey. Okay, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Homer. Nice to see you. There they go. Uh, next up, Cheryl, accompanied by Hugh Jordan from Cork. Let's have a look at it. Um, and Cheryl is the Kerry Blue Bird that Michael Collins was so fond of. Michael Collins actually wanted to dedicate these as the national dog of Ireland and unfortunately he was killed in the interim so it never happened. So we're thinking of maybe taking this a little bit further and getting our native breeds declared as everything. Sure. She's born blue, but um, beautiful little bitch. There. Well thank you very much indeed. Thanks Cheryl. Nice to see you. Thank you very much Hugh. Jasper with John Canty from Limerick. Let's have a look at Jasper. And what sort of a dog is Jasper? Jasper is an Irish terrier and they're called the daredevil of the thing because they're always on the slightest tiptoe of expectation. Yeah. Very expert at killing vermin and rats, has the world record in Victorian times for killing over 300 rats in a pit in under five minutes. What a record! And you can see the how lightly framed they are yeah. and how intense they are. Always okay. on the expectation. Jasper, thank you very much indeed. And John, thank you from Lyric. And Rory is coming now with Elaine. Elaine Butler from Waterford. And Rory is, what sort of breed of dog is Rory? It's an Irish soft coat of wheat and terrier. Very similar in breeding lines to the, the Kerry Blue, as you can see. Yeah. And the notable thing about from Irish history of this, if some of you from your school days might remember Anna Coon and the sad boat tragedy from the islands. And there's a nice painting in the National Gallery of a wheat and terrier with the dead, the fisherman's dead child. Okay. Painting. Does Rory have eyes? Rory has eyes. The reason, there they are, come on, okay. The reason for that covering eyes is working, and they're working because they used to go to earth after badger, okay. and the idea was that the badger couldn't see the eyes and the dog could kind of peep around and then go into the Good, good. Dogs. Handy tap those curtains when you need them. Well, thank you so much. Nice <laughs> to see you. Okay, Rory. I, I own it now with Cathy Lockton from County Down. Uh, it was a soft spot for Iona because we used to have one of these years ago, Mr. Ruskin. This is a red setter. This oh. is the Irish red setter. And oh. as you can see, 
the expression I own is very typical, the expression and the gentle expression with the slightly hazel eyes on them and the sheen off the coat, very important in this breed. She is a really top show dog and has won a lot of awards. Okay, beautiful uh, dog. In the setters there are two kind of types, the show type which are a little bit stronger and fuller and you'll see it's slightly different in a minute. Okay, thank you Cathy and uh, I want to let's say hello to Harriet who's coming in with Jim Sheridan. This is an Irish red and white setter and the same gene pool and line as the red setter as you can see. Yes. And she is a big winning field trial dog. And Jim is one of the best trainers of field trial dogs in Ireland. Much more athletic in frame as you can see and not quite heavy coated. But once again, purpose bred dog. Okay, thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Marley comes with Joe Caulfield from Wexford. Let's say hello to Marley. This is, what? <laughs> this is an Irish water spaniel and they are called the clowns of the gun dog ah. group because they have this great sense of fun and, and love. Now he won't do it on demand but if they come out of the water they have this habit of lying on their, lying on their back and kicking their legs as if on a bicycle. Oh, we all they're, they're ready for the... they always give you expression they like and they have that cute expression. And Marley's a great name. It's because of his dreadlocks. Oh, yeah, of course, Marley and me. Okay, Joe, thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Axel's here with Catherine O'Hurley from County Kerry. And Axel's here. Here he comes. This is the Kerry Beagle. These are a pack dog. They hunt in packs, and as you see, he's not very comfortable here. Uh, a very ancient breed. Uh, don't see many of them in the show rings, and they're only recognised in Ireland, but a really nice breed. Gerlach Nan, the famous hurler, yeah. you might remember, he actually has Kerry Beagles as well. And they have a distinctive thing that when they cry or bark, they yodel. It sounds for all the world like yodeling. Great stuff. Okay. Very interesting. Well, well done. Thanks a lot for that. Okay, off you go, Axel. And last but not least, Hal with Marion Finney from Dublin. Um, is this a horse? <laughs> This is the, the king of all dogs. The Irish Wolfhound is the wow. tallest breed of that. dog in the world. And he's quite a young dog too. He's still a little bit of going to do, so he's quite a young dog. Um, they were the dogs of the High Kings of Ireland. Yes, you can and see And they were sent all over Europe to the royal families as gifts and presents. Great. How many do you have of these? Nine of these. Of course you do, yeah. Two uh, bedroom apartment. Uh, <laughs> Not, not, not on the 10th floor. <laughs> yeah, great, get them in the lift. That's more of a herd. <laughs> it sure is. Okay, listen, Sean, thank you very much. And to all the owners and your wonderful dogs, thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, our friends, thank you, Sean. And just to remind you, uh, just to remind you that you can see these dogs and plenty more at the Irish Kennel Club Game Pet Food Dog Show on St. Patrick's Day at the National Show Centre. Ladies and gentlemen, our favourite dogs of the night. There they go. Thank you.